WFIN News Director Doug Jenkins with you on the Facebook page once again as we continue our look at tax issues that you'll see on the ballot across Hancock County. Yesterday, we were at the Blanchard Valley Center. Today, we're in Van Loo. We're talking to Superintendent Tracy Conley about a renewal levy that Van Loo voters will see on the ballot coming up in May. Tracy, thanks for joining us. Thank you. All right, so Tracy, we talked about a renewal issue in the fall leading up to the November general election. Uh, that time, a, a little bit of a different proposal. What have you guys changed around as you approach the levy this year? For May, all we're doing is changing. Instead of asking for a permanent emergency renewal, it is now just for 10 years as before. When uh, the levy failed in November, obviously renewal levels sometimes uh, get the automatic pass or pretty close to automatic. This was a situation where you wanted to go back, talk to community members. What were the things that you heard? Um, a lot of things that um, they were concerned about was it being a permanent renewal instead of instead of a, just a renewal for 10 years. And a lot of people were confused on the wording, the changing of the wording. So we thought we'd just start back with what we have been doing since 2009. But we talk about renewal levies a lot of times, uh, it, it kind of becomes the checkup for the community and sort of uh, a chance for you to go back and like, this is what we've done with the tax dollars. This is how we've been a good steward of your money. When you talk to community members right now, what are the things that you point at that, that you're doing in Van Loo to be a good steward of those dollars? Well, we have to mention that we have not asked for any new money for 24 years. We have continued to make improvements to the building and continued to offer top of the line curriculum, programs, technology for all of our students and have remained in our budget and continue to maintain in our budget just with renewal money. When we talk about the, the specifics of this renewal, what are the, the millage amount, the dollar amount that you're looking for here? Um, the millage amount is 5.9. Um, it has actually decreased in the 10 years. It was originally over 10. And the, the, since it's considered an emergency renewal, emergency actually means that it's an, a, perma, a permanent amount, a set amount, in other words, of 325000 a year for 10 years. Would you look at what those dollars mean for the Van Lewis School District? What are they paying for? It is uh, operational, day-by-day -day operations. It includes a lot of things like curriculum. Um, your athletics, your maintenance of the building. We have a very old building. We have to continue to maintain this building. Um, it includes um, professional development for the teachers. It includes our technology, keeping up with technology. It includes transportation. It includes our extracurricular activities, our athletics, our music, our art programs. So in other words, it runs all of our day-to-day -day operations. Just a few things included. <laughs> just just a few things. Uh, we talked to Macomb Superintendent Tony Fenstermaker about uh, transportation costs, and I think a lot of times Macomb is land-wise a very big school district, not not a big school. I think Van Loo is certainly a smaller land area, but you're still going all out in the county to pick up kids. You're running to and from Millstream, athletic events, things like that. There are a lot of transportation costs that maybe people don't think of off the top of their head. Oh, yes. Transportational costs obviously continue to rise with gas prices rising from anywhere from diesel as well as gas. I think like the truck behind us right now, the, the diesel there. Um, it also just to keep our bus drivers current on all the things that they're required to do, um, keeping our buses in good, in good running order and maintaining those buses. And it's just like everything else. Everything increases, and we've got to maintain those increases. In terms of technology, I think a lot of people want to know how that's being applied in the school district. How is Van Lu utilizing money for technology? Um, our students have one-to-one -one technology. It's mainstreamed in the classrooms. Um, we have smart boards in all the classrooms. We are looking at changing our program over to more of a modern, to keep up with the technology. We're going with larger um, TV screens and uh, Google programs that run run the TV screens and I mean we're always looking at different ways of our technology in our classrooms. All right, if people want to learn more about the levy and, and the efforts behind it, where can they go for more information? Um, actually, tomorrow night at the park, the Van Lu Levy Committee is having a meeting, an informational meeting. If anybody has any questions or concerns to come out to the park at 7 p.m. tomorrow night, they can call the school and ask for me if they have any questions. Um, they can call school board. 
<laughs> hey, y'all are on TV. Well, kind of, it's the internet. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so we invite people out uh, to that as well. Uh, Tracy, thanks for joining us today. No problem. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Rolling out the nice weather for us as well. Now, tomorrow we'll continue our look at some of the tax issues you'll see in the county. We'll go over to Liberty Benton, where they have a levy on the ballot to looking to build a new K-8 through building, among some other items. And we'll talk to uh, the superintendent there tomorrow. That'll be just after 11 o'clock here on the WFIN Facebook page. And, of course, you'll hear the audio from these on WFIN as well. We'll uh, catch up with you later. Uh, later today on the Facebook page, we'll have a stream of the State of the City address in Finley, so be sure to tune in for that this afternoon. I'm Doug Jenkins reporting.